another word for a stroke is a brain attack. Just like when someone gets chest pain, it's called a heart attack. So what causes the majority of uh, strokes is a clot going to that part of the brain. And if a person comes in within a certain time frame, they can be given this clot-busting drug called intravenous thrombolysis, uh, which can get rid of the clot and restore blood flow back to that part of the brain. We do know that the sooner that treatment is given, the better. Uh, for every one minute that passes that a, uh, a part of the brain is not getting blood, one million nerve cells are dying. Okay, so every minute counts, which is why we use the term time is brain. The sooner someone gets, uh, recognizes a stroke wherever it happens, gets the person to hospital, gets a scan and make a decision to give the clot busting drug, the greater the chances that their outcome will be better. But the other sort of new kid on the block is similar to what they do for heart attacks. So apart from giving a drug to get rid of the clot, you can go to the angio suite and they actually go in with a wire through your groin to the blood vessels around your heart and fish out the clot and open up the blood vessel mechanically. And the same now applies to uh, strokes, especially what we call uh, big strokes or large vessel strokes, where there's a big clot sitting in a big artery. And sometimes the, the thrombolytic drug, the thrombolysis drug, cannot get rid of a big clot. So the next step that happens is you need to go inside uh, with, a, again, like a wire, and you can fish out that big clot uh, that's making the stroke happen. And this treatment has been uh, available across the world for only a few years, but it's only very recently that it's become a standard uh, part of care of ischemic strokes. And we are one of the very few hospitals in the region uh, that provide this service routinely for the last few years.